point of the game. Yeah, Snyder, uh, you know, does a great job inside for the Beavers. She's a tough player to guard. Right now with the ball, it's Peterson. Peterson under heavy pressure and almost a steal by Christensen. Top of the key. Top of the key now to Haynes. Haynes with the ball. She's covered still by Christensen. Almost a steal. This one, and the pressure is going to cause a turnover. Yes, it does, and that's what that's what pressure, that's why they do it. That's what pressure is good for, and uh, it worked that time. Inside, Rachel Roberts with the ball. She crumbles across the timeline. Beavers one, no score for Waterford yet. And Jordan with the ball on the right side. Inside, Christian, an eight-foot jumper's up and in. Well, easy little uncontested yeah, jumper. Uh, Christensen, not the tallest person on the floor, but they give her the baseline wide open. Nobody steps out to guard her. On the right side for the Ravens, it's Judd. Judd takes the screen inside for Sandu. The ball's going to go out of bounds off of Waterford. It'll be Beaver basketball. They already lead 3-0. to zero. And that's Judd's uh, third turnover in the game for Waterford. She just uh, threw that one way over the top. So Roberts with the ball. The winner of this one advances to take on the Emory Spartans. Cross-court pass to Christensen. Christensen, 16-foot jumpers up oh. and in. <laughs> and they're going to say she traveled. I didn't see it, but they she, called it off. She did take a hop. Did she take a little hop, skip, and a jump? It was that, you know, when they dribble, hop, and then hop. They That's get one what it hop, was. But she took the bunny hop. All right, Haynes with the ball now. She's over to Peterson. Peterson with it. Over to Haynes. Haynes looking inside for Sandu. Another moving screen. Yeah. <laughs> not called. <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to call too much in this game the way it looks. No. Peterson with it. She's covered by Roberts. Roberts with a steal. And it's going to be Brielle Christian who picks it up. And a foul on Waterford. Yeah, and that was just uh, a collision foul. Sandu didn't mean to uh, knock her over, but uh, just running down the court, ran her over. And that time again, pressure from uh, Roberts. Creates that turnover. Timeout on the floor will take it as well. 3-0, Beaver on top. We'll be back. 30 seconds, please. Travel those hills in style and comfort with a Ford truck from Jorgensen Ford. Ford trucks built Ford tough to last. Smart truck, smart choice. Stop by Jorgensen Ford at 1000 South, Covey Road, Richfield, Utah, or give them a call at 435-896-8436. Experience the Jorgensen difference. Off action, and uh, Dave and I, this is our favorite time of year. Oh, yeah, this is exciting. It's a lot of fun. This is what uh, you build up to all through the season, and, and uh, this is where it all goes down. Shiler Jordan on skip pass to Christensen. Christensen to Snyder. Snyder drives in. It's going to kick back to Jordan. Jordan had, doesn't even look at a three point shot. Oh, she should have. She should have. Wide open. Snyder drives in, kicks back to Jordan, fakes a three point shot, kicks around to Christensen. Christensen looking inside, takes a left hand dribble. Kicks top of the key to Roberts. Roberts, three-point shot coming off to the right. No good. Rebound Wood. Shot back yep. up in. Count it. She's fouled. Easy. Easy money right there. As Roberts, uh, uncontested three-point shot. Takes it, but a little to the right. Mikhail Wood right there in position to put it back. Yeah, the water, I'm sorry, Dave. Draw the foul. Sorry. The Waterford Ravens, uh, you know, they, they had to win their last two games to come in to uh, get to the playoffs. And their reward, the uh, number two ranked Beavers, not... not not a, a welcome gift for uh, winning those two games, but I'm sure they're happy to be in the playoffs. Well, if uh, yeah, you're coming in, that's Beaver perennial power is not the one you want to draw the first game. Mikel Woods free throws up. This one's no good. Rebound can be taken by number 32, who's checked in the game. And for Waterford, that's Biskopovich. And there'll be a foul on Biskupovic. the floor. Biskopovich. Biskopovich. All right, got it. First name, Melissa. Biskopovich. That's got to be like one of the all-time basketball names. A little a Polish, a little American. Melissa Biskopovich. Biskopovich. And so it'll be Haynes will throw in the ball. Has it top of the key to Biskop. Oh, no, to Judd. Judd to Sandu. And uh, there's going to be a ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be ball back to the Ravens. Top of the key, it's Haynes. Haynes, long shot, it's number 32, and that is Biskopovich, and she nails the three. And Shreve also into the game for the Ravens. 
Tyler Jordan in the corner. Right side, Christian, three-point shot coming. It's up and in. <laughs> Christian, don't leave her wide open because she's hot from out there. Yeah, already five points in the game for Brielle Christensen. In the corner, can't see who it is. Coach is standing up, but it's Haynes with it now. 4.35 left in the first. It's 8-3. to three. And a steal. Hattie Snyder picks it up. And she gets to Rachel Roberts. Roberts covered by Haynes. Reverses dribble. Kicks over to Christian. Christian's got a three-point shot. Doesn't take it. Inside, beautiful pass to Wood. Her oh. shot up, no good. And rebound, Snyder back up. No good as well. Snyder back up, no good. <laughs> rebound, Waterford. Just won't fall. <laughs> Hattie's padding the rebound stats. Yeah, she sure is. Peterson with the ball. Top the key to Haynes. Haynes, three-point runner. Goes up, no good. Rebound, Snyder. Yeah, Haynes uh, didn't get a good shot off there. Inside pass intended for Wood, but it's going to go out of bounds off of Waterford. Yeah, He's just uh, guarding pretty well that time and uh, knocked that pass out of bounds. So it'll be Beavers basketball. Robert Snyder, Snyder at six feet, back to Christensen. And to Jordan, to Roberts. Roberts thinks about a three-point shot, doesn't take it. Inside, Snyder from six feet out, kicks back to Christensen, to Jordan. And they work on that inside pass, inside to Mikel Wood. Mikel Wood gets knocked out by Haynes. Well, Haynes just, yeah, pushed it right out. And now it's Roberts with the ball. Top of the key to Jordan. Beavers facing a 2-3 zone from the Waterford Ravens. Inside Christian, three-point shot coming, it's up, no good. Snyder, her shot up, blocked away though. And it'll be out of bounds, oh, excuse me, Waterford ball. Yeah, Waterford ball, there's a great block, got all ball. On the right side, it's Biskopovich with the ball. She gets top of the key to Haynes. Haynes inside, out to Peterson. Peterson dribbles, thinks about a shot, doesn't take it. And then Rachel Roberts, ooh, with a near still. And she's gonna end up with a still as she yeah. is, the ball goes off of her. Excuse uh, me, ask of Biskopovich. Yeah, she knocked it off of Biskopovich. Couldn't uh, reel it in before it went out of bounds. Great pressure there by uh, Good Roberts. morning to Hattie Snyder right here in front of us here at the table. As she throws the ball into Rachel, Rachel Roberts. She didn't even smile. No, she's, she's got the game face it's on. It's game face. It's 8-3. Yeah. Beavers with a five-point lead. 2.52 left in the first. Shyler Jordan with the ball on the left side. Cross-court pass to Christensen inside to Wood. Nice inside-outside game. Wood goes oh. up. Shot no good, though. Rebound. To Judd. Yeah, I think she was expecting a foul there. She went up strong and it went right over. Haynes with it. She's covered by Christian. Top of the key to Judd. Back to Peterson. <laughs> Peterson started her hair in a bun. Now she's <laughs> it's now now it is loose. And it is long. <laughs> Biskopovich oh, double. double dribbles. Yeah. It was a great move. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. She smiles and laughs, good natured. Lexi Black will come in the game for the Beavers. She'll replace Shyler Jordan. And uh, she had a great lane to the bucket. Yeah, she <laughs> she laughed with her she coach. She juked her right out of her shoes. She did. <laughs> because she knew she couldn't move. <laughs> yeah, we, she did. <laughs> Roberts on the left side to Black. Black, top of the key to Roberts. On the right side, Christensen. Beavers working the inside-out game. Just making that defense adjust. Well, Lexi Black. In talking to uh, Coach Marshall before the game, he said they used the zone a lot and that his players were going to have to make some outside shots. Hannah Snyder inside from Brielle Christensen. Great uh, entry pass there by Brielle. Hits Hannah right in, right in the right uh, position, and she has an easy lay-in. 10-3 is our score. A minute 44 left in the first. Number three in the ballgame for Waterford. That's Chloe Wilcox. And she replaced Peterson. Top of the key to Peterson. Oh, Peterson's still in there. And it's inside, intended for Judd, but there's going to be a foul on the play. It'll be a foul on Lexi Black. They'll get her for a push, and it'll be Kelly McDonald in the game quickly for the Beavers, replacing Brielle Christensen. One. Yeah, that uh, hair, Peterson, shouldn't have missed that. <laughs> Just covering her number. Top of the key. Comes in to Wilcox. Wilcox looking for Haynes. Wilcox keeps dribble, close to a five-second call, and it's going to go out of bounds off the Ravens. Beaver basketball. Beaver basketball. There another turnover for the Ravens, really struggling today uh, with the pressure the Beavers throwing down on them. 
10 to 3, a minute left. Just a reminder, we'll have two players of the game, Mike's Food Town and Dairy Queen Players of the Game. Appreciate their sponsorship. Also, a Southern Utah University halftime show, as well as a Sunrise Engineering postgame show. It's Lexi Black with the ball. Top of the key to Roberts. Roberts rotates to McDonald inside to Wood. Great job, Wood from two. Oh, no good. Just can't buy a break on that one, and it's rebound to Waterford. No, I don't know what happened there. Everything was good. Haynes with it on the left side to Judd. Or Peterson, if you'd like to call her that. Peterson with it. Steal by Lexi Black. Black's got it. So three on one break inside to Peterson, or excuse me, McDonald. Her shot up, no good. Rebound foul on Rachel Roberts. Yeah, and she, and she didn't really touch her, but that swing down from behind and the ref on the other side. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna call that. Yeah, you're gonna get that call almost every time, aren't you? Yep, in high school basketball, you'll get it every time. And we're already down to, to uh, just 34 seconds left in this first quarter play. Three team fouls on the Beavers, four on the Ravens, and it's Haynes with the ball. Beavers in a little bit of a half court trap. And inside, Rachel Roberts with a steal, and it's gonna be Lexi Black ahead of the pack, see if she can finish this off. She's gonna go up and be fouled, no call though. And uh, they're going to call a foul afterwards, but Lexi Black was pounded on that layup attempt. Oh, ter terrible, yeah. Had no call there, but uh, she did get the, the heavy harm. Yeah, they just, they just absolutely missed that one. Melissa put the hammer down. 19.3 <laughs> seconds left, 10 7, 10 to 3. Seven point lead for the Beavers. And it's Wilcox to Haynes. Haynes back to Wilcox. Wilcox drives in, kicks back out, long three-point shot coming, and that is actually a good call. We'll take a break while he's set for free throws. Three coming for Waterford. Um, I think we can squeeze a minute out of this one. Let's try a minute on this one. No liner. Yep, thank you. Solid from the line. Welcome back to Orem High School. All three free throws made by Alicia Judd, and so now we're back to live actions. Eight seconds back on the clock. They had an inadvertent whistle, so the Beavers will have it with eight seconds left in the game for the Beavers. Caitlin Smith, Rachel Roberts, Kelly McDonald, Lexi Black, and Shyler Jordan. And they'll be, they're gonna put eight seconds back on the clock. They should, there it is. So it's 10-6, Beavers only up by four after playing a, a, not a great first quarter play so far. Shyler Jordan with it, down to four seconds, three seconds. In the corner, Kelly McDonald drives in the left hand, shot up at the buzzer, no good, and that'll do it. 10-6 is our score. We'll be back in one minute with second quarter action. They can listen to satellite radio, they can listen to their iPod, but they don't give you local content. The local radio station can do that. So my dad always told us, if you guys want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to move where the people are. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to stay here. One thing that all the people that live here have in common is that they all chose this place and they can probably make better money somewhere else. And so we're all here because we love this place. Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Jorgensen's. It's that time of year again. This is a brand new 2013 800 Pro RMK. The lightest, most flickable slab on the market. Come on down and see it, sit on it, feel it. Let us tell you all about it. We have new uh, climb gear all ready to go. Get you ready for the season. As you can see, it's that time of year. So come see us as soon as you can. The, the Beavers not playing their finest basketball in that first quarter. No, they're not. It's kind of uh, jungle ball right now, but they're up 10-6, and that's all you need. Talking to Coach Marshall, one of the other things he said was important. He said, 
the winner will have the most rebounds and the fewest turnovers. And uh, right now he's uh, he's winning that battle uh, five to four on, against the rebounds, but uh, ten to one against turnovers. So a lot of turnovers on the Ravens, but the Ravens only down four. They'll have the ball to start the second quarter of play. And it's Haynes with it. Haynes covered by Christensen. Haynes picks up her dribble on the left side. She gets it to Judd. Judd covered by Jordan. Jordan knocks ball down, but able to be picked up by Waterford. Beavers stay in that man-to-man -man defense. And there's gonna be another illegal screen, and she knows it. Number 34 kind of smiles. She knew she got she <laughs> just threw a hip in. <laughs> yeah, she knew it. She saw it all the way. Caitlin Shreve with the foul. Shreve. Shreve, excuse me. So Lexi Black brings it back for the Beavers. Beavers up 10-6. They've got the ball just starting in second quarter action here. Lexi Black, three-point shot, looks good, is good. Lexi Black for three. Lexi Black spots up and nails it. First game, first points of the game for the sophomore, Lexi Black. 7.20 left, it's 13-6, seven point lead. With the ball's Wilcox, she's covered by Black. Black, good defensive pressure. The ball's, ooh, almost loose, couldn't quite get it. Back to Judd. Now it is a steal by Brielle Christian, and the Beavers on the run. Haynes is gonna reach about four times, no call any of those times. <laughs> she's a little frustrated right now. Just a little. Black, top of the key to Jordan. Jordan inside to Snyder, great inbounds pass, but there's good backside help. It'll be Beaver basketball out of bounds. As Hammer uh, intercepted that pass but couldn't hang on to it and dropped it out of bounds. So Black will bring the ball in underneath. Has it to Snyder. Snyder, six foot, jumpers up, no good. She was fouled, no call. Rebound to Haynes. Haynes with the ball, gets it back to Wilcox. Wilcox covered by Black, back to Haynes. 6.44 left in the second. Beavers up by seven, 13 to six. Haynes with it. Haynes, nice pass underneath. Wilcox oh. with an underneath flip, no good. Rebound, Brielle Christensen. And that was quite the flip. It didn't go anywhere, but over the backboard. <laughs> That's right. Black top of the key to Snyder. Snyder on the right side. In the corner is Jordan. Beavers perimeter passing. Black back to Snyder. Snyder, three-point shot coming. It's up and in. Oh. Now that's something that's, uh, you know, a double threat from Snyder. You don't expect the big girl to be outside shooting, but she's got a great outside shot, and she nails three-pointers at a great percentage of fun. Well, she did not hesitate, Dave. We know she can. We've seen it all season long. She can make it. Lexi Black continuing the pressure on Wilcox, and it'll be now nah, they, they give it to the Beavers. Excuse me. They give it to Waterford, and uh, not sure if that's a mercy rule or or what that is, but interesting call. <laughs> we'll leave it at that, it was interesting. 10 point lead for the Beavers, 16-6. Sandu with it, looking inside, tries to get it to <laughs> number 30, who's checked in the game. That's Hammer, Madison Hammer. Oh, Madison Hammer. And she just threw it to the middle of the key and neither team was watching, it just dropped free. So now it's Wilcox with it. She's covered by Black. Oh my and goodness! There'll be a. Oh, they did get the right one. Another illegal screen, and uh, some those are a little bit dangerous. Those are when they just run up behind the girl and trip and. Well, I pushed her right in the way, and then. We'll... Okay, we'll take a quick break. 16-6, and it's Beaver on top. We'll be back after this. One minute. The Fairview Telephone Company was founded in 1903 to bring telephone service to small communities in central Utah when no one else would. That small phone company is now Centricom, and our vision hasn't changed. We want rural central Utah to have the very best options for high-speed internet, cable TV, and home phone. Why? Because we live here too. Centricom, your local telecommunications company. Travel those hills in style and comfort with a Ford truck from Jorgensen Ford. Ford trucks built Ford tough to last. Smart truck, smart choice. Stop by Jorgensen Ford at 1000 South, Covey Road, Richfield, Utah, or give them a call at 435-896-8436. Experience the Jorgensen difference. Sixteen to six, our score. Five thirty-eight left in the first half. Beavers up by ten. 
And it's Shiler Jordan in the corner with it. Cross court pass to Christensen. Christian, 14 foot jumpers up and in. Brielle Christensen, money. And I'll tell you what, uh, you've said all season she needs to shoot more, and she came to shoot today, and it's benefiting the Beavers. Yeah, big difference in this Beaver team when the guards are able to convert. Wilcox with it. Looking for Peterson, has Peterson. Peterson throws to Wilcox. Wilcox loses the ball, picked up by Rachel Roberts. And the senior point guard for the Beavers back. Yeah, Wilcox, to... it was a good pass. She just couldn't handle it. Oh, Christian, almost a beautiful pass to Snyder. Snyder doesn't miss many of those. No. Hattie's one of those girls you can throw the pass up and let the girl go get it, and she does. Yeah, a rare, a rare uh, miss there for Hattie Snyder. So Wilcox with it to Peterson. Peterson back to Wilcox, stolen away by Kelly McDonald on the right side. She's going to have a layup. Goes up a little out of bound of control, Whoa, but she, it goes up and in. She got it. <laughs> you know, she read that passing lane all the way, just waited for Wilcox to throw it. And just like that, the Beavers now up 14 in this set, first half of play. 440 left. It's 20 to 6. Wilcox in the corner to Sandu. Sandu That's gets Biscopovich. it. Biskupovich. What's that? Biskupovich. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, I've been saying Sandu. She looks like one of the Sandu. Definitely does. She does. But she's actually a Biskupovich, not a Sandu. Just a uh, few hundred miles or a thousand miles away from the country. 20 to 6, 422 left in the half. You're Scott Asia. Langford and Funny Man Dave on the right side. Rachel Roberts thinks Ooh, about a three-point shot. I wish he would take that once in a while. Great point guard for the Beavers. Brielle Christensen with it. She's yeah, I agree. Her and uh, Christensen need to shoot more. Kelly McDonald with it, drives in with the left hand, shot up, a lot of contact. I, they're just letting them play. Yeah, they're just, uh, I don't know, they're not uh, interested in found no, anybody out, I guess. I don't know. No, there's a, there this is game's going to go very heavy, quickly. It's a heavy-handed game, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Peterson with it to Haynes. It's going to be stolen away by Kelly McDonald. McDonald to Roberts. Roberts drives into the middle of the key, kicks back out to McDonald. McDonald back to Roberts. To Christian inside to Jordan. Jordan playing the center position. They're going to call three seconds on Jessup in the key. Now that's an interesting call. So 20 to 6. And it's going to be Peterson with the ball. Haynes with it now. Back to Peterson. Peterson double dribbles. He didn't call double it. dribbles and swings some elbows. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> she wanted some space. Brielle Christian with a steal, and it's Christensen and Roberts. And uh, Christensen, no, she doubled. She traveled, but they traveled. I don't know. Should have called that one. They didn't call the double dribble. <laughs> it's uh, it's a strange set of calls here. What you think is and isn't, and what you think isn't is. So well, and this this these teams are not evenly matched, as you would guess from a oh. one seed. And uh, Janessa Jessup knocks down. <laughs> and knocks down the player. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that one. She just pushed her right into the bench. Said, hey, team, help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of did, too. Hattie Snyder back in the game for Beaver. Jessup will come out. And it'll be Haynes to throw the ball in. Haynes has a hammer. And Haynes, long three-point jumpers up. No good. Really close. Yeah, and Hattie got a hand on it. I thought it was going to help her to make it. And Brielle Christian just drops the ball, goes out of bounds off of her, and it'll be out of bounds underneath. Well, I guess Beaver's trying to even up the turnovers a little bit. <laughs> Haynes will throw the ball in, has it to Biskopovich. She drives with a runner, no good. Rebound Christian. She's kind of a stiff shot. Came off her hand a little weird. Inside it's Jordan on the left side. Layup's up and in. Uh, just a great uh, fast break there. Great finish by Jordan. Shyler now. With that two, takes the lead to 16, 22 to six. Haynes with it. Oh, Haynes to Biskopovich to Hammer. No, uh, yeah, it is Hammer. It's Hammer. Hammer with the ball inside. You'll know Kick. when she defends somebody else. So That's right. Hammer, no. Kicks back. Haynes long three-point jumper, no good. Rebound. Kelly McDonald, the one most likely to foul. Right. That's right. She's gonna put it down. <laughs> She's trucking. On left side, Brielle Christian, top of the key to Roberts. On the right side, McDonald. Inside, Snyder, Snyder. Oh. Point blank range, shot up, no foul, no call, and the, they call a foul on the block. And we have free throws. We'll be back after this. Didn't need the dribble.
free throws for the Beavers in the game, three for four. Haynes with it to Wilcox. Wilcox drives baseline, gets in trouble, and it's going to be Lexi Black who takes it away, and she's on the move. Two minutes. Yeah, it's, uh, just a quick player there. Gabrielle Christensen. Christensen with it. Top of the key to Black on the left side to Roberts. Roberts back top of the key on the right side. Christensen inside to Snyder. Great pass and finish. That's just uh, that's just classic basketball right there. Snyder seals off so well. Uh, when you get a good entry pass like that, uh, there's just no stopping it. Yeah, you you know, that is just such perfect post play. Yeah. Wilcox with it, and uh, she can't handle it. It goes out of bounds. We're at a 20-point lead, 26 to 6. A minute 31 left in the first half. So for the Beavers, it's Rachel Roberts with the ball, and in the game is Mikkel Wood, Brielle Christensen, Lexi Black, and Hattie Snyder. Inside is Wood. Wood from point blank range up. No, she does not get the rebound, and it's going to be actually taken by number 34, Shreve. Inside, Rachel Roberts with another steal. Yeah, the uh, Beavers just picking them apart. You can see they've, they've come, uh, they're focused and they're hustling. Three-point shot, Rachel Roberts is up. No good, rebound is going to go off of, no, Brielle Christian comes up with it. Hand it to Brielle, that was awesome. It was. Chase that down. Inside to Wood, Wood from point blank range. Again, can't get it to drop. So Back strong. to Snyder, three-point shot. Christian, it's up and in. And Christensen is shooting today and just uh, doing an amazing job. Yeah, it's 10 points for Brielle already in the first half. 29 to six, 23-point lead. Peterson with the ball. 25 seconds left in the half and she almost loses it. Rachel Roberts makes her pick up her dribble. Now she gets to Wilcox, she's covered by Black. Wilcox keeps her dribble. Doubled. Uh huh. On the right side, it's uh, Biskupovic. She drives in. Nine seconds left, down to seven. Biskupovic with a fake free throw line. Jumpers up, no good. Rebound, Lexi Black. Two seconds left. Lexi's going to shoot it at the end of the half. She got fouled. <laughs> and we'll see. They may call this. We'll see what they decide to call. No, they'll just say that's the end of the break. We'll take a break and come back with the Southern Utah University halftime show after this. It's 29 6, Beavers on top. His influence was so far-reaching that you couldn't even put a number on it. It was the boy, not the game. He was making good young men out of them. In order to build a small community, you have to be involved. Kent is the TV and FM translator king of the world. Just thick, thick black smoke hitting us really hard, really fast. Uh, intense heat. The Sport Keeper is a family-owned sporting goods business serving the needs of team sports for over 30 years. The Sport Keeper provides excellent customer service and will always provide you and your team with performance-enhancing gear. Each time, every time, The Sport Keeper, making you and your team a winner.
My name is Troy Worthington with Alliance Resource Services, a professional employer organization. We are working with a number of businesses in central Utah. When they have switched to us, we've been able to save them a significant amount of money through the payroll, benefits, human resource support, and risk management that we provide. Mention this ad when you call. I would love to prepare a cost-saving proposal for you. If you have a business in San Pete, Sevier, or Juab County, you need to give Alliance Resource Services a call. Are you ready for a weekend away? Jorgensen's Honda is the place to start. They carry a full line of RVs to make that trip a lasting memory. With models like Yellowstone, Conquest, Amerilite, and Canyon Trail, you can find the perfect fit. For great fun and comfort, check out the full line of RVs at Jorgensen's Honda. Dennis or Mike can help you out. Stop by today at 980 South Coalview Road in Richfield or give them a call at 435-896-6408. They can listen to satellite radio, they can listen to their iPod, but they don't give you local content. The local radio station can do that. So my dad always told us, if you guys want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to move where the people are. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to stay here. One thing that all the people that live here have in common is that they all chose this place. And they can probably make better money somewhere else. And so we're all here because we love this place. Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Jorgensen's. It's that time of year again. This is a brand new 2013 800 Pro RMK. The lightest, most flickable slide on the market. Come on down and see it, sit on it, feel it. Let us tell you all about it. We have new uh, climb gear all ready to go. Get you ready for the season. As you can see, it's that time of year. So come see us as soon as you can. The Fairview Telephone Company was founded in 1903 to bring telephone service to small communities in central Utah when no one else would. That small phone company is now Centricom, and our vision hasn't changed. We want rural central Utah to have the very best options for high-speed internet, cable TV, and home phone. Why? Because we live here too. Centricom, your local telecommunications company. Travel those hills in style and comfort with a Ford truck from Jorgensen Ford. Ford trucks built Ford tough to last. Smart truck, smart choice. Stop by Jorgensen Ford at 1000 South, Cove U Road, Richfield, Utah, or give them a call at 435-896-8436. Experience the Jorgensen difference. His influence was so far-reaching, he couldn't even put a number on it. It was the boy, not the game. He was making good young men out of them. In order to build a small community, you have to be involved. Kent is the TV and FM translator king of the world. Just thick, thick black smoke hitting us really hard, really fast. Uh, intense heat. The Sport Keeper, 
is a family-owned sporting goods business serving the needs of team sports for over 30 years. The Sport Keeper provides excellent customer service and will always provide you and your team with performance-enhancing gear. Each time, every time, the Sport Keeper, making you and your team a winner. My name is Troy Worthington with Alliance Resource Services, a professional employer organization. We are working with a number of businesses in central Utah. When they have switched to us, we've been able to save them a significant amount of money through the payroll, benefits, human resource support, and risk management that we provide. Mention this ad when you call. I would love to prepare a cost-saving proposal for you. If you have a business in San Pete, Sevier, or Juab County, you need to give Alliance Resource Services a call. Are you ready for a weekend away? Jorgensen's Honda is the place to start. They carry a full line of RVs to make that trip a lasting memory. With models like Yellowstone, Conquest, Amerilite, and Canyon Trail, you can find the perfect fit. For great fun and comfort, check out the full line of RVs at Jorgensen's Honda. Dennis or Mike can help you out. Stop by today at 980 South Coalview Road in Richfield, or give them a call at 435-896-6408. Hope you enjoyed the Southern Utah University halftime show. The Beavers up big over the Waterford Ravens, 29-6. And they'll advance to take on the Emory Spartans. And uh, looks like the clock is zero. That ends the third quarter of play, I guess. <laughs> That's, That's the mercy quick. rule. There's the mercy rule. <laughs> All right, now for. we've got eight minutes on the clock. So <laughs> it's uh, now we're into play. Waterford will have the ball to start this third quarter of play. Haynes with it on the right side to Judd. Now oh, that's Shreve. Shreve with the ball, left-hand dribble, back looking for Haynes. Haynes with it. She's covered by Brielle Christian. Another illegal screen by Hammer. Hammer puts, she it, puts down. it Yeah. Hey, I was on that already. Oh, sorry. Inside, it's going to be uh, a scrum, and uh, no one gets hurt, thankfully. Dark it's going to be a jump ball, beaver basketball in the possession rule. Yeah, as, uh, as Rachel Roberts again, she's been intense this whole game, and she jumps right in there to tie that up, and uh, it's another turnover for the Ravens. Just a just another reminder: we'll have a Mike's Food Town Player of the Game as well as a Dairy Queen Player of the Game at the end of this one. Winner will receive a DiGiorno pizza from Mike's Food Town and a Dairy Queen Value Meal from Beaver Valley Chevron. And uh, ball goes out of bounds off the Beavers. Uh, turnover. It'll be Waterford ball. Yeah, Mikkel would got a little, just a little bump, but it was enough that uh, dropped her focus and she got the ball out of bounds. Haynes with the ball, looking for a screen. <laughs> Another moving, <laughs> almost. <laughs> and inside to Shreve. Shreve throws the ball up, and Hammer can't handle it. And it'll be Shyler Jordan quickly ahead. She could goes go on the right. Way. Yeah, on the right side, inside to Christensen on the outside. And kicks to Roberts. Roberts, three-point shot coming. It's up and oh. no good. And it's going to be Shyler Jordan off of her. It'll be Waterford ball. It looked good, but it fell short. And uh, Shyler looked like she was going to have the rebound. Somebody got a foot on it and kicked it into her shin. And it uh -huh. out of Just underway here in third quarter action, 29-6. That was our halftime score. No scoring yet in this one. And it'll be Haynes with it. Just a reminder, there's wrestling all day long over at the Sevier Valley, or excuse me, the... I wish we were at the Sevier Valley Center, but so UVU. Uh, UVU. We we do wish we were at the Sevier Valley Center. I wish next week we were going to be at the Sevier Valley Center. They really do such a great job of hosting that tournament. They do an excellent job. It's a great facility. And, uh, yeah, I agree with you. I love going over there. And a turnover on the Ravens. It'll be Beaver basketball. Um, the, you just can't beat the, the tournament at Sevier Valley Center. So good job by the staff at Snow College South to host the tournament. Beavers back in action. Still no score. 6.23 left in the third. 29 to 6. No scoring yet in the third, that is. Wood to Christensen. Christensen inside to Hattie. Hattie at point blank range, shot up, no good. And if there were one concern for the Beavers in this game, it's the lid on the bucket from four feet. Yeah. Well, they're looking like they're expecting to be fouled or something because they're going up just too strong and pushing over the other side. Haynes with the ball, three point shot coming, it's up and in. And I like that little running man. As she shoots it. 
<laughs> that was awesome. Roberts to Christensen. Christian looking inside for Wood. Back to Roberts. Roberts, 16 foot jumpers up, no good. Rebound off of Waterford. It'll be Beaver Bat. Oh no. They say it's Waterford basketball. Mercy. Yeah, Roberts uh, that time steps inside the three-point line. Looked good, but for some reason, uh, there's a lid on her shot, and that come right back out. So Waterford outscoring the Beavers 3-0 in this third quarter so far. 5.38 left, the Beavers scoreless. 29-9 our score. Peterson with it, looking for Haynes. Ooh, almost stolen by Roberts. Back to Shreve. Shreve on the left side to Peterson. In the corner to Hammer. Top of the Haynes, three-point jumper coming. It's up, no good this time. And Wood with the board. And the Beavers on the run. Inside to Jordan, shot up and in. Easy money on the fast break. Uh, it's hard to keep up with that. And, uh, Beaver run out so crisp. Yeah, credit uh, Hattie Snyder for not trying to get that ball. She recognized in time that it was not intended for her. Inside Shreve, shot up, no good. Rebound, going to be off of Waterford. And it'll be Beaver basketball. And Shreve was just a one-handed throw on that one. So 4.58 left in this third quarter play. 31 to nine, our score. And after a little delay, Roberts will have it. Roberts comes across half court. On the right side in the corner to Christensen. Christensen inside to Wood, little low, but Wood does a great job of just hitting that out to the guards. Top of key, Roberts to Jordan. Jordan to Roberts, Roberts, 12 foot, jumpers up and in. There she goes, she finally got it on. That's the shot when she Absolutely, Rachel Roberts, first two points of the game, 33 to nine, 24 point lead. 429 left in the third. On the baseline, walk, no call, Shreve up and in. Oh, that's an NBA type move and uh, Shreve finishes well. Actually, that's Judd. That was Judd. My yeah. bad, sorry. You me. I messed you up, Dave. 4.13 left in the third, 22 point lead, 33 to 11. Shyler Jordan for three, no good. Rebound Judd. Coach wants a triangle. I would go for a bucket. <laughs> Inside, Brielle Christensen uh, tries for a still. Kicks out to Peterson. Peterson top the key to Haynes. Back to Peterson, Peterson. Inside the three point line, just a little bit. Rebound Snyder. I would have taken that rectangle inside by the basket. Yeah. Roberts with it. Dribbles top of the key, kicks over to Christensen. Christensen back to Roberts. The Beavers is probing that defense by Waterford. A little tough. Tough to play these kinds of games. Beavers up big by 22, 33 to 11. Well, you Robert, know, these kinds, it's hard to keep your energy, but Beavers been, they've remained very focused and energetic. Tyler Jordan for three, shot no good, rebound. Hattie Snyder just keeps going. Um, gets tied up, it'll be Waterford basketball. Yeah, you gotta, you, you gotta work really hard to beat Hattie Snyder inside. Hattie Snyder, definitely one of those uh, Division I type prospects. Oh, definitely. In girls basketball. Sandu comes in for Shree. Sandu with it, on the baseline to Hammer. Hammer, that's a good basketball name, Hammer. <laughs> to Haynes. <laughs> I don't know if you want to stay in the game very long. Now it's Sandu. Sandu top of the key to Peterson. Peterson with the right hand dribble. Ooh, almost stolen away by Rachel Roberts, but Sandu, excuse me, Peterson gets it back. Top of the key to Haynes. Haynes picks up another screen, and the ball's knocked down. And Sandu <laughs> takes four steps, no calls. That's all right. 35 with a shot. That is Shreve. No good. No, oh, that was actually Judd. Inside ahead of the pack, Jordan. Her shot up and in. There again, uh, fast break and the finish. Jordan on the end of it. Well, and Rachel Roberts give her the assist. Great pass. Excellent pass. And Brielle Christen will set it up, and Lexi Black will come in the game for the Beavers. Black will replace Hattie Snyder. So the Beavers go a little bit smaller. The leads at 24, Dave, 35 11. Snyder's got a lot of sn a lot of stats to pad her game already. Yes, she does. Tyler Jordan, three-point shot, top of the key. It's up, no good. Rebound. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Mikkel Wood. And I believe they'll go back to the Ravens. Yeah, as Mikkel Wood, uh, she had tried to bring that in. She'd been called through over the back, so she tried to swat at somebody else. But where it went, there wasn't anybody except fans. Haynes on the left side to Judd. 
Back to Haynes. Haynes takes a screen from Sandu. Another Inside, uh, stolen away, Mikkel Wood. And you hold screen, man. Oh, wow. Mikkel has Sandu hanging on top of her, and uh, the ball goes out of bounds off of the Beavers. And uh, these are hard games sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. <laughs> the referees are only going to call bloodletting fouls unless they're on the Beavers. We'll take a break while they shoot free throws. Waterford at the line. Let's just go with. Oh. Lexi Black. Her second team's first. When we come back from the timeout, we will have two shots for Waterford's Alicia Judd. It's a 30 second timeout. Alicia Judd will be shooting two. They can listen to satellite radio, they can listen to their iPod, but they don't give you local content. The local radio station can do that. So my dad always told us, if you guys want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to move where the people are. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to stay here. One thing that all the people that live here have in common is that they all chose this place. And they can probably make better money somewhere else. And so we're all here because we love this place. Scott Langford, David Howard, first free throws up and in for Waterford. Second one up and in as well. So two free throws for number 35. And that's Judd. She's scored four points in this third quarter play. That cuts the lead down to 22. Well, and she's a free throw shooter because she's five for five in this game. And she's the only one for Waterford that shot free throws. Ellen McDonald in the game. Ooh, has a three. Doesn't take it to Shiler Jordan. Jordan drives baseline. Kicks top of the key. Yeah. They're going to call a walk. I, <laughs> it's, it's, honestly, it's I just, thought it was a foul on Sandu. But. <laughs> no. I, I, the Beavers can count on absolutely no calls from this point out. <laughs> well, from the first whistle. I mean, it, it is a mismatch, Dave. It, it's a mismatch. It's, it's tough to officiate. You know, you, but. Th minute 34 left in the third. 22-point lead. 35-13. Wilcox with it. And a nice crossbody block by the Ravens. <laughs> And it's going to go a kickball. It'll be out of bounds. And Waterford retains possession. <laughs> and so yeah, it goes pretty fast. But Mikkel spent uh, 10 seconds out. And he's back in. Real Christian will check out the game. Probably to keep her from getting blocked again. <laughs> and it'll be Waterford to throw the ball in. 22-point lead right now for Beaver. Inside, it's Wilcox. Wilcox goes up. Shot no good. And Mikkel Wood with the rebound. Rachel Roberts on the run for the Beavers. Looking for Snyder. Snyder has it. Cross court pass to McDonald. McDonald, three point shot coming. Looks good. It is oh, good. She nails that one. That was a great Kelly shot. McDonald, four, three. Five points for Kelly McDonald, Dave. Yeah, she's doing great. Yeah. She might be pushing for one of our post game players of the game. Certainly could get it. Wilcox goes in. Mikkel Wood just puts up her hands and, and it's a block. Inside, it's going to be Kelly McDonald. McDonald from six. Shot up. No good. Rebound, Hattie Snyder. Snyder out to Black, to Roberts. Roberts just inside the two-point, three-point line. And I think she actually thought about it. I think she just thought about it a little too much. She has a big smile on her face. Yeah, and it'll yeah, be Waterford yeah. ball. Yeah, you can see that. Minutes, ah, excuse me, 37 seconds left in this third quarter play. 38-13, 25-point lead for the Beavers. Inside at Sandu. Sandu, no good. Hattie Snyder with the rebound. She's got Kelly McDonald out front and kicks back to Rachel Roberts. Beavers will play for one shot, as Coach John Marshall says, that's what we're going to do. Well, there's no need to uh, push anything and take any shots. Up 38 13. So it's now it's Kelly McDonald with it. Top of the key to Roberts. Down to 10 seconds left. Nine seconds. Back to Hattie Snyder. Three seconds left in the quarter. It's going to be Lexi Black taking a three point shot. 
Shots up, no good, and that'll do it. 38-13, we'll be back with fourth quarter action after this. We'll try to sneak a minute and a half in, okay? Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Jorgensen's. It's that time here again. This is a brand new 2013 800 Pro RMK. The lightest, most flickable slide on the market. Come on down and see it, sit on it, feel it. Let us tell you all about it. We have new uh, climb gear all ready to go. Get you ready for the season. As you can see, it's that time of year. So come see us as soon as you can. Scott Langford and the doctor, Statman Dave. 38-13, as we start fourth quarter action, it's the Beavers big over the Ravens. After uh, scoring 19-0 in the second quarter, Beavers came out and only, only scored 9-7, beat them 9-7 in the third quarter. Kayla Smith the game immediately makes her presence felt as she steals the ball and gets it to Shyler Jordan. Yeah, uh, Haynes was tele telegraphing the whole way and uh, Smith just took advantage of that. Black to Kaitlyn Smith, free throw line jumpers up, no good. <laughs> Rebound to Waterford. Yeah, it went uh, a little left. <laughs> and she passes. Waterford passes the ball to Wilcox. the official. Wilcox passed it right to the official. I thought he was going to grab it at first, and then he was like, whoa, he steps back and puts his hands up. Like, I can't do that. 7.22 left in the game, 38-13. Beavers will advance, take on the Emory Spartans, which ought to be a great quarterfinal matchup next week at the Centrum in Southern Utah. Inside, Kaitlyn Smith with another rebound. She's ahead of the pack. And she's going to stop and throw to Kelly McDonald. McDonald will clear top of the key to Shyler Jordan, right side to Black. Black back to Jordan. To McDonald. Back to Jordan. Beavers patient on offense, perimeter passing. Black top of the key to Jordan. Back to Black. Black thinks about three-point shot, doesn't take it. And the Beavers just continue to pass. Just might have a post-game show sponsored by Sun Rock Engineering. For 30 years, they've helped clients in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. They have lots of locations. Kelly McDonald, three-point shots up, no good. Rebounds going to be taken by Emory or Waterford, if you or prefer. Or Judd. You're looking forward to that game. There, you got to stay focused, one game at a time, Scott. Yeah, this is this is a pretty lopsided affair here. It's 38-13, 25-point lead. Robert Roberts will check in. And uh, Smith with uh, another near steal. Yep. She's all over those passing lanes. Angela Roberts. Angela Roberts checks in. Tyler Jordan comes out of the game. Jordan's done a great job today. All the starters now on the bench as they have been for most of the second half with that 25 point lead. Not much question about the outcome on this one. And there's going to be a foul now underneath. And we'll see who the call is. I'm going to call it on number 20, Lexi Black. So she had to draw blood the way this is being called. Wilcox with the ball. <laughs> Underneath, it's going to be Kelly McDonald. Knocked the ball out of bounds. Good job by Kelly. And once again, Waterford will have it out of bounds for the third straight time. Beaver's one of the best defensive teams in 2A. Oh, excellent defense. Just a tough team to play. Sandu with the ball, tries to get to Wilcox, but it's stolen away by Roberts. Angela with it, gets it to Black. Lexi with the ball across the half line. On the right side to Angela. Roberts with the left hand dribble, back to Black. To McDonald on the left side. She drives baseline with the left hand, goes up. Shot no good, rebound Waterford. Yeah, uh, Shreve comes down with that one. 
Cox gets Wilcox with it. Wilcox covered by Roberts. Now picked up by Jessup. Throws the ball in, tries to throw it off of Jessup, but can't do it. And it's Waterford keeps possession. Haynes, long three-point jumper, and I mean long. No good, and it's going to be a foul. No, a travel on Waterford. It'll be Beaver basketball. Yeah, it's Judd, uh, a lot of momentum going, and uh, it's stop. Lots of replacements for the Ravens. Four players come in. And it's Lexi Black coming back. On the right side, it's Angela Roberts. Roberts with it, cross court pass to McDonald. McDonald. Fakes, kicks top of the key to Black. Back to Roberts. Roberts drives baseline. Kicks back. Five minutes left in the game. 38-13. Beavers up by 25. Top of the key's Black. Caitlin Smith drives all the way in. Can't quite get it to go. Nice move for Caitlin. Yeah, great move, but just when she went up with it, lost a handle. And Peterson with the pass and it's a little bit hard goes out of bounds and it'll be beaver basketball oh wow they're gonna give it back to waterford no what there was actually wasn't even a beaver girl on that half of the court but waterford basketball <laughs> no. No. Uh, coach staff like i don't know <laughs> so waterford with the ball i'm still I still I missed the one where uh, she threw it to the ref and it went out of bounds and they got it back. Yeah, well, anyway, off of Angela Roberts, it'll be Waterford ball again. 38-13. They touched the ref. And... Peterson with it. Peterson underneath to Sandu. Her shot back up and in. Sandu with the spin around off the glass jump shot. Zoya with a shot. Zoya. Alexa Black comes back across half the Half court line, Tiana Marshall in the game. Tiana back to Black. On the right side, Roberts. Cross court pass to Marshall. Black now with it. 3 2 zone for Waterford. And Roberts inside to Jessup. Her shot is going to be knocked away, and they're going to say it's off of Waterford. Beaver basketball. Well, uh, that or a foul. Something. At least they gave Beaver back the ball. 421 left in the game. Jessup from four feet out. Great pass from Lexi Black. You know, I love that. I love that uh, inbounds play. They run so easy, so simple, and it works so well. That's the key to a good thing. Sure is. Caitlin Smith with another steal. Smith ahead of the pack to Marshall. Marshall back to Black. Four minutes left in the game. Beavers up by 15, 25, 40 to 15. Kick out to Roberts, three-point shot coming, no good. Rebound, gonna be taken by it's Waterford. Perfect. And we're gonna have a timeout on the floor, we'll take it as well, 3.43 left, we'll be back. To a minute and I'll let you know about a liner. The Fairview Telephone Company was founded in 1903 to bring telephone service to small communities in central Utah when no one else would. That small phone company is now Centricom, and our vision hasn't changed. We want rural central Utah to have the very best options for high-speed internet, cable TV, and home phone. Why? Because we live here too. Centricom, your local telecommunications company. Shot no good, rebound there, Janessa Jessup. For Waterford. Play. Andrew Roberts manning the point now. Bailey Smith in the game. Bailey with it. On the left side to Marshall. Marshall top of the key to Roberts. Back to Marshall. Back to 
Roberts, Smith with it now. Down under three minutes to play, 42 to 15. It's a 27 point lead by the Beavers. All JV players in the game now. Janessa Jessup to Smith. Smith in the corner to Marshall. Marshall with one dribble, kicks inside to Smith. Nice. Great pass, great finish. Caitlin Smith for two. Caitlin oh, Smith, excellent inbound pass. And uh, Smith with a good seal off. Easy move. I think I said Bailey Smith before. Great Smith with a really was a great pass. So on the right side is Peterson. Tim. And all the freshmen and everybody else coming off the bench now for the Beavers. He'll be coming in on the next, the next break. And there's a turnover on the Ravens. It'll be Beaver basketball. So the game will be Scout Osborne to Lexi Air and Kelly Barrett. And now the game will be Caitlin Smith, Jessica Jessup, and Angela Roberts. Two minutes left in the game. It's 44 to 15, 29 point lead for the Beavers. Tiana Marshall will man the point guard duties for Beaver. Inside air with it, now to Osborne. Cross court pass to Smith. Smith with one dribble, cross court pass to Osborne. Osborne drives baseline and tries to go up. She's not able to recover it, goes out of bounds. It'll be Waterford ball. And just uh, a miscue there. Under two minutes left, minute 50, 44 15, 29 point lead, Beaver. We'll advance to next week's championship bracket. You'll hear Statman Dave and I as they take on the Emory Spartans. And still by Smith, Britton picks it up, gets back to Tiana Marshall. Minute 35 left in the game. Marshall with it to Smith. Smith has a three-point shot, doesn't look at it to Barrett. Back to Smith, there's a 20-foot jumper, shot up, no good. And rebound, gonna be taken by Waterford. And now they're not called fouls on even on Beaver. So <laughs> now it's just play ball. <laughs> play ball. Peterson with it for Waterford. Minute 14 left. On the baseline, goes out of bounds. Beaver basketball, another turnover for Waterford. You know, the because of the last game going so long, we were, they were behind away as well. This game, I think there's been no team fouls on Waterford this whole half. And I think only in the game, I think there's only been, only, I, I mean, four or five. Only two on Beaver. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, they're going to catch right back up here at Orem High School. Just a couple of programming reminders. Tomorrow, tomorrow you can hear Dave and I as, as the boys team takes on Summit Academy. I thought it was South Summit, but it's Summit Academy. And uh, they'll be tomorrow at 3.30. You can hear that right here. And you can watch it live on local10.tv and hear the radio broadcast and tomorrow at 3.30. There's games all day long, Dave, here in the bracket. And uh, grab my bag here and we'll, we'll start talking about some of these games. And a reminder, we'll have the Sunrise Engineering post game show coming up after this. So other games you can hear on our on the radio are sister stations. Um, there's plenty of games upcoming, and we're excited to bring them all to you. Waterford with the ball. Right now, we're under 30 seconds left in the basketball game. And here at, on the Sunrise Engineering Post Game Show, I'll go ahead and talk to you about the, the other matchups that you'll see in today's game. Osborne with it to Marshall. 15 seconds left. The Beavers will take this one easily. On the left, Scout. And Scott says pull it out. Excuse me, Coach Marshall has pulled out. Tiana Marshall to Britton Smith. Five seconds left. Marshall just hold the ball. And no shot. That'll do it. The Beavers advance. 44-15 victory. They'll be back for a close game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it three minutes, if you would.